Welcome back. You're just in time for a whole bucket load of cute. We've got Tarka, a gorgeous little puppy, joining us for some puppy training. Ansi, of course, you had to be in the driver's seat for this one. <laughs> what a delightful little girl has joined us this morning. She is beautiful, and she has the attention span of a puppy, <laughs> um, which I can certainly relate to. Um, we are doing a little puppy training today. Yes, we are. Mm, okay, where do we start? Um, what, how do you generally start when you're building a relationship with a new puppy and you're starting the training process? Where do you begin? Um, we, well, we brought Tarka in because there's a lady in Botswana who apparently is having a serious problem with her little puppy <laughs> um, who is biting her and everything in sight and biting hard and sore Ooh. and jumping up and biting her hair and it's, it's mayhem. So we brought little Tarka in to try and explain. It's a twofold problem that she has. The first thing we're going to discuss today is the bite inhibition part, i.e., they shouldn't bite sore. Yeah. So um, the second part of the problem, which we'll discuss on another day, perhaps next week, mm. is the fact that toys are there for playing with and not human beings. Yeah. <laughs> but initially, we want to first teach bite inhibition. Now, okay. what is bite inhibition? Oh, Tarka, when we, hello, girl. When we take puppies away oh. from their litter mates, we basically have stopped the process of them learning bite inhibition with their litter mates. Um, because what would happen is the, the, the strong little puppy would want to play with all the other little puppies, and if it bites too sore... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yummy. If it bites too <laughs> sore, the other puppy is going to stop playing. Now, all the rough puppy wants is play, 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 play. <laughs> so when play stops, puppy starts to work out what made play stop. Now, the minute the teeth chomp down, the other puppy would go, ouch! and stop play. So that ouch moment becomes the clue. So and in knows. time, they begin okay. to understand it's the amount of pressure, pressure they've applied. Now, because we've taken puppy away from their litter mates, what we want to do now is teach puppy bite inhibition in the absence of the litter mates. Okay. Um, first, before we teach puppy, they may not bite on us. Okay. Sure. Now, how do we do that? We become another puppy. Okay. So what we do is, we basically play with puppy with our hands. Let's put you on the lap. Whoops, there they are. Oh, oh Tarka, what's happening? You've been manhandled. Oh, no. Now, you want to take your sleeves all the way up because you don't want puppy to bite on sleeves. You want to ignore any soft handling, any soft mouthing. He's going to bite on me in a moment, I promise. Um, and then... Um, when he starts chomping on you, you're only going to wait till it's slightly sore. You must remember their teeth are needle sharp, so oh, it does become sore big, quite quickly. Big softy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 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 There we go. Oh, yeah, so the soft biting you're going to ignore. The hard biting, if and when it happens, you're going to go. She has ouch. suddenly taken. Oh. So I've tucked in my arms, I've turned my back on her, count to three seconds, and start playing all over again. Oh, oh man, she just suddenly developed the nature of Timothy Channel. <laughs> She's all soft. And, oh, and quiet. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing that, and what she'll learn is when she chomps oh. down too hard, play stops. stops. And that is the secret. We're taking away what they want, play. And in that way, they will learn that chomping down is not a good idea. Soft. Chomping down is fine, but not anything with pressure on it. Because even even a little little puppy like this, she's going to grow. You can see by the size of those paws, she's going to become quite yeah. a, a German healthy shepherd. size. You can see these lovely little padded <laughs> paws, like a little pony bear, hey? Yeah. Um, and that you know obviously means to me that she is going to grow very quickly, and that yeah. the the pain will kick in when that jaw gets a little bit bigger. She's oh, obviously yes. going to be a very strong dog. Oh, yes. Um, other, other areas with that, that um, litter response, those, those areas where a dog would normally learn that, are there any other things that we can aid in the development of the dog, seeing as they are being taken out of that litter by us? What, what other areas can we look at to, to in the socialising and that, that side? Hmm. Excellent. Um, this is where you really cannot make up for it yourself, okay. and that is puppy groups of puppy classes. You really, for the socializing aspect for a puppy, you cannot actually be other puppies. You can help in the bite and the bush, and you can do all of that, but to the communication Patient, aspect yeah. and the flexing of their muscles and finding out who they are. Their confidence. Correct. Yes, we've seen it with puppy, Bella. Puppy classes, puppy classes, puppy classes. I cannot stress that enough. 
so that they can get to be with other puppies, interact with them, and find out who they are in the whole pecking order without being hurt themselves, which they might be with adult dogs who won't always put up yeah, with um, sure. sort of nonsense. Especially in, in crossbreed <laughs> partnerships. Well, thank you so much, Ansi. You've been an absolute little gem. She is shooting me such puppy eyes right now. You are an exemplary example. I don't even know if you need any training. No, it's absolutely <laughs> vital that you get your puppy into an environment where it can socialize with other puppies and it'll also help you in the long run um, work through those things like the bites and the, the, the more destructive traits. All right, so, um, I hope you've learned something new. We are going to continue our crazy Tuesday morning. Still lots on the go. We might get back into the kitchen in just a bit. Loving having KCB Dolan in studio as well. He just keeps going. That's the strength you get from Bubtail. Bubtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.